everyone, my name is Jane and this is the Overseas Nursing Band and this is TJ. Today we're going to be holding a session with you. But before then, how are you? Are you okay? Have you been taking care of yourself? Very important to do that. discussing um, deep visual um, infusion phlebitis and IV flush. So this is one of the new skills that was introduced in July of 2021 amongst the, um, the new skills that were introduced. And what is this is all about is just assessing the IV cannula site and making sure it's okay to continue use just check it and make sure it's fine so what happens you're you're giving a um a score to the vip score to score it before you decide whether you are going to flush or not and you have okay six score so zero one to five so that is six i don't know why i was just saying five so what happens so zero means the place is okay does iv cannula site is okay no nothing is wrong with it and a red so you can give your iv flush go ahead and give your iv flush no action and then a one is when it's just slightly red or slightly pale you know so you can still give that's a one so you can still give your iv flush and you can still let, let the cannula be so but before we continue i'm just going to say this that your assessor will give you that and you're going to be using a mannequin you're not using a real human being so a cannula will be you know put there for you wherever they want to set it for you and then it's usually a mannequin your assessor will answer okay of all this redness hardening um swelling your assess the one that you cannot see on paper is the pain so you have to feel the iv cannula site to ask the um your mannequin your patient how they're feeling if it's painful how painful it is the degree score the pain and be able to say to um decide what to do from what you have scored so like i said before zero is no pain you can give your flush continue with your um iv two is just and um, one is just slight redness so you can still continue but two could be any of the following um redness swelling or hardening any of those two and that you have to watch you cannot um give so you might consider treatment you might consider reciting the iv um, um the cannula your cannula and like i said before um obviously we know where phlebitis is, is it's just inflammation and you, what you're looking for is the signs and symptoms signs and symptoms of inflammation redness swelling pain maybe what the area might be warm again as well so hardening that's what you're looking for for an inflammation so it's inflammation of the veins yeah and what could cause is um probably the needle you're using is big probably the medication uh, that it's giving a number of things could be causing that so depending on the degree and you decide to continue it's not very good it's not a very good thing to continue giving iv on a site that is painful and is swollen and inflamed you know so so we've said one nothing the, the iv site is clear nothing two and um, one is when the iv site is slightly red pale. and then two yeah two is when you have maybe any of these two so you score it two when you have either pain swelling or heart width or um swelling okay and then three you can have pain along the site obviously at the site of the cannula you can have arrhythmia you can have induration that's hardness you know so that you, what would you do in that situation you consider resetting consider treatment but you have to reset the can your cannula okay they're not expecting you to reset the cannula during your OSCE exams obviously but those are the treatment in case it comes up those are the treatment you have to specify as well okay and then again if it's four when you can now say it's four you know it's advanced stage so you there's redness along the cannula site there's arrhythmia there's um 
in duration and then you can feel palpable vulnerable cord on that side okay so you might you just you you see it but it will be if you see it on the paper your nurses you've seen all this before in the world so you, once you see it on paper it will not be a strange thing for you as well so but when you got a five when you have a five what do you do when you have a five when you're checking your site what is there so you have pain there you have arrhythmia you have induration you have palpable venous cord and you have pyrexia so temperature obviously that is what you're going to experience you don't need to panic this is what you do every day i mean from as a student as you've been able to watch when you go for your postings clinical postings you're able to watch and see all of these things so it's not and then you've been working as well so it's not something strange it's something you know and you're smart and intelligent so yeah okay so you've established now what um level you are so we're going to go with a vip zero and then do our infusion flush okay so usually it's a tray procedure you make sure that you have your tray um you have the usually comes you only i don't know here it comes with a pre-filled syringe so it's a pre, well this is not pre-filled this is just comes with a pre-filled syringe and all that and i'm going to start so we know the drill we know how it goes you come in to the room obviously you, okay i'm using that it's very low but do your um hand hygiene your seven step who hand hygiene pardon me hand hygiene you know that is very important introduce yourself to your um patient but remember hand hygiene saved um privacy for your resident for your patient um no hazards no water nothing to so safety hand hygiene privacy safety of the environment introduce yourself when you've done that i think maybe i'll do the seven important thing you'd have to do in every oski very important probably would do that but so you do that and then your the name of your page of your patient you check their id num, um, hospital number id number and you check their date of birth and then as well you check for allergies okay very important before you start your procedure and then after you've taken your form your vip score chart that your assessor your examiner will give you they'll lead you on that your assessor will give you and then what you do is you now the, the ones that you cannot see there so i've checked tj and there's no redness there's no swelling there's no um um palpable venous cord everything looks good but um tj can you tell me if you have any pains here tj your assessor will answer and say no there is no pain so you know it's a zero no redness no swelling no induration no arrhythmia no nothing like that and no pain so you have to um palpate to feel if there is pain slightly you know and they will tell you the level of if they spend the level of pain you could score it if you have time all right so after you've done that enough okay tj do you need to use the toilet because you've already explained to tj what you're going to do for him would you like to use the toilet you make sure they are comfortable and then you give them a call bell can you have the call bell now tj if you need me you can call me i'm just going to get my tray ready okay and she just says yes and off you go don't forget to sanitize um, again your hand hygiene very important and then you take your tray okay so what you need is a cleaner wipe and your pre-filled syringe with tell me flush so obviously assessor has this you wipe your tray make sure it's wiped with a um, cleaner wipe then take your tray you bring your tray and then your hand hygiene again don't forget very important you do your hand hygiene and then you go back to tj and say i think i can see that so your patient you'll be having a mannequin and done your apron 
and don your gloves and um, your apron On your apron and then wipes you put the apron for club and then you go and you have to it's in date so you have to it's very important as well you check the date so you make sure it's in date it's not expired it's not broken it hasn't been tampered it's well mine is open but it, it's not broken it's it, and then your cleaner wipes as well you check for dates make sure it's in date it's okay very important so you have to tell your sister is in date expires 21 october 2022 and oh it's in date expires uh 10th of april 2023 so you're set to go and then when you're by tj's bedside what you do the cannula is already set there so you will see you take your cleaner wipes okay and then you wipe on the air um on the um cannula port where you're going to put your infusion through your flush because you've checked now there's no phlebitis so you just give your flush and then it's already most most times already pre-filled um syringe undo it and then you give let me see yeah and then you flush and you flush hello are you okay is there any pain you comfortable all right all done i've just um flushed your um iv side cannula so i'm going to inform my colleague and they will come um give you your iv medications okay are you comfortable there's no pain yeah all right then so that's just it's very simple I know this uh, video is taking a longer time because I was explaining, but it's a very short, simple, straightforward, very simple procedure, very sh short, very straightforward. And that's all you do. Obviously, you remove, put in the clinical waste bin, and same for that, you take it off, bin it so you don't go about with it. And then you can now make your patients comfortable and that's the end it's very simple it's very straightforward no need for panicking no need to fear straightforward okay so that is it and then you are done tell your assessor and that's it simple isn't it yeah i think it's simple and very straightforward i wish i had this in my oski actually because it's quite simple anyway very straightforward so but remember um it's very important to make sure you're scoring it's you, it was what you know make sure you're scoring appropriately make sure so zero is nothing there normal skin and then one is just slight redness or paleness for one two is could be any of these two at zero you can give at one you can still give or watch it at two you definitely need to consider you will not give your if you will not give any flush you're not going to give anything but you watch it and consider resetting and then three obviously you just have to reset four oh my god you have to reset and consider treatment five you have to actually treat you're not going to do that during your oski but if it comes to that you have to explain it verbalize it to your assessor what actions is going to happen but usually it should be a one or a zero usually where you can be able to give the flush because from two you can't give a flush anymore all right so that is it thank you for watching and keep your questions coming and i want to really thank you so much for subscribing for watching this videos my videos i really appreciate you thank you so much god bless you i really really appreciate that okay so i'm going to see you in my next video but i'll ask that please please subscribe if you think this will be helpful share it to anybody that you know that will need it make comments like and all of those good stuff
Thank you, beautiful people. Hope to see you in my next one soon. Take care. God bless. Bye.